Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the idea of stock split. What is the big idea of stock split? Well, it's when the company divides the number of its outstanding shares by what by some multiple. For example, they could have two for one. What is two for one? It means if you have one share, we're gonna give you we're gonna replace it by two shares. Wow, you're giving me more shares. Is this better? Well, the stock price will be adjusted, but you have more shares. Or for example, Apple in 2020, they did for each share, they gave you four shares. Again, what they do, if they gave you four shares, they will divide the stock price by, by four as well. So if the stock price was $80, now the stock price is $20. If you had 100 shares, if you had 100, let's assume prior to the split, you had 100 shares of Apple and the price was $80. Now you have total value of $8,000. Well, after the split, you have rather than, rather than 100 shares, now you're going to have 400 shares, 400 shares, but the stock price now is 20, so you still have your total value $8,000. Think of a stock split like this. L let's take a look at this pizza pie. Th th this pizza pie has eight slices. If I told you I'm going to go ahead and break this pizza pie rather than eight, I'm going to give it to you, but I'm going to give you 16 slices by breaking by breaking the slice each slice into an additional slice you'll have the same pizza pie so the point is the stock split does not really change the value of something it just changed the structure of it so if i if i break this pizza pie into rather than eight now i break each slice into two additional slices and this is what my son have at schools they break each regular slice into two slices so my son says i ate four slices he really basically ate two regular slices but for him it's four slices the point is it's the same pizza pie and i can break the 16 into 32 or i can do the opposite i can take this eight slices and break it down into only four pieces this is called the reverse split we'll talk about this maybe a little bit later so this is what a stock split is for example Apple in 2014 had seven for one stock split. So the price of Apple was approximately $700. So what they did is they, for every one stock you have, they gave you seven new stocks. But as a result, your stock price went down to 100. So you have more shares. So rather than having one stock at $700, now you have seven shares and each one is 100. You still have $700. Now, why do companies do this? Well, the company do this because if the stock price gets very high, they they want to reduce the stock price because it, it appears expensive. Now, why did Apple do it specifically? So why did Apple go through the 741? Because Apple wanted to join the Dow, the Dow Industrial, and the Dow Industrial is a price-weighted stock. What does that mean? It means if the Dow Industrial, the stock, uh, the stock index accepted Apple at $700 and let's assume Boeing is $200, Exxon is 100 and some other companies is another 100, another 100. So this is, this is three, 500 and another company is 50, another company is 50 and the Dow 30. So simply put, and another company 100. So let's assume company one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 700. So those are seven different companies and you add them all up to come up with a price of 700. Apple alone, if they join the Dow at 700, so if Apple moves, it's the equivalent of those seven companies and the Dow don't like this, it's a price sensitive. So they told Apple, if you want to join the Dow, you have to, split your stock and this is what apple did they split their stock they did the seven for one split and they 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 joined the dow now par value is adjusted in other words also they they split the par value and obviously that's the stock price is is adjusted as well now the good news about the stock split it doesn't have a journal entry so simply put if this is a company with a ten dollar par value twenty thousand shares 200,000. Let's assume this company went for two for one stock split. For every share, they're going to give you two. What's going to happen is they're going to have 50, 40,000 rather than 20. They're going to double the shares. The par value is split in half and we still have 200,000. Now, obviously, if this stock price was $50 if before the stock split, the day of the stock split, the price will become 25. It, it will also get adjusted. So everything is adjusted. So nothing changed in terms of total equity. There's no journal entry. It's a, it's a, it's a 
it's a memorandum you know basically they would just make a note that they did a stock split now also we have a reverse stock split a reverse stock split is the opposite so for example you go from 40 to 20 sometimes you go from for every 10 shares will give you one share and the stock price will go up this happens when a company like a company like e-trade e-trade was trading for a long period of time under a dollar and the nyse if you trade for a certain period of time below a dollar they delist you the listing means they remove they remove you from the exchange they no longer publish your prices so what what e-trade did they did 10 for one a one for ten one for ten one for ten stocks but it means if you have one share if you have 10 shares we're going to take away the 10 shares and give you one shares but we're going to multiply the price by 10 now the price of e-trade went from one to ten dollars approximately ten dollars whatever the price was let's assume it was one you multiply it by ten now they're, they're far away from the one this is called a reverse stock split again from an accounting perspective we don't have to worry about a reverse stock split now the best way to learn this is to go to farhatlectures.com and work multiple choice questions farhat lectures i i don't replace your cpa review course i don't replace your accounting course i provide you additional resources that's going to help you do better in your classes as well as the cpa exam don't shortchange yourself study hard you're investing in yourself the cpa exam is worth it good luck study hard and of course stay safe